Yeah. perfect you're perfect to me oh you're perfect oh pretty pretty please yeah you're perfect you're perfect good morning grasshoppers slow start to today's entries on a Sunday morning. Could be that everyone is sleeping in. I don't blame them. Give a quick shout out to Chess Informant 154. Checking our lost frames just in case. Three minutes. <clears throat> Good morning, Robert. Robert, you're not in here yet. Doesn't have me as streaming yet. I wonder how long it takes for Lee Chess to pick up on the fact that I'm not doing anything. Maybe I need to do something. Let's see here. Mate and two on 42. Rough guy, make it really rough guy. Check, checkmate. What happens on? What happens on King E5? Check. Takes. Check. Mate. Can't stop at 44. 
can't stop at 44. What a bad luck number that is. So we're white. Check. No, the pawns are going the other way. Are we just winning the night? Or are we winning more than that? Alright, 45 is a good place. Heading back to our Master Chess Dojo Rapid and Classical team for Saturdays and Sundays. Uh oh. Well, that last one almost cost us. Jay Kamal. We're staying with the ever so popular. We'll take over the rest of the dark squares while we're at it. Let's go for the long diagonal since he doesn't seem to be attacking us. Really? Counterattack? Now, are we willing to give up a piece for a pawn, a uh, dark squared bishop for a pawn? I guess we are. We do want to trade more stuff. We're just up a pawn, and we're seeking more exchanges. Knight e7, bishop f6 is very awkward. Rook b8, bishop e3, queen e5, bishop f4 is awkward. do wish to exchange more stuff and expand on this side of the board. Mean, mean stride, today's Tom Sawyer, mean, mean pride. Quiet defense, writing out the day's events. Bishop to d6 is somewhat awkward. <coughs> and where is he headed? Catch the drift. The world is the world is love and life. Maybe as a sign. 
Uh, do I want to play with that? I don't want to get mated. So it looks like he's getting another pawn out of the deal. Or is he? Hmm. Something seems to be seriously awry here. Not paying attention to how the opponent's pieces move. Most definitely a big mistake. Let's trade more stuff. Trade more stuff. Changes aren't permanent. More exchanges. Simplifying forks and more exchanges. Good to see you in, Robert. Oh, we're not keeping an eye on the YouTube subscribers. One second. Just in case anyone is watching on YouTube. Please subscribe. I'm wondering how far along we are with the E4 rep. Hunter 1998. Karl Kampanov. I sort of want more experience in the Carlsbad variation. Let's go for it. We haven't played this in a while. Very simplistic plan. See what our opponent does if we play a simple move like h3 wow he is equipped he is so equipped i don't want to give him complete control over uh, e4 the expense of doubled pawns and uh, I had almost forgotten almost forgotten about my uh, about the refutation of this system and the reason why I don't play it fortunately my opponent did not know it but black is better on move four or five if they know the recipe. That's why no one plays the exchange variation anymore. Gentle to the sea, darling, so it goes. Are meant to be. Take my 
Let's see how insistent he is upon getting the move E5 in. I wish I could have played F4. Could I have played F4? Bishop takes E5. G takes h5, bishop moves, h takes g6. Good question. I'm not loving you way I wanted to. What I had to do, had to run from you. I'm in love with you, but the vibe is wrong, and that haunted me on the way home. So you never know. He is playing on my side of the board, by the way. Let's bring this rook to this side of the board. Just the threat of going to h6 that I want to really, really pressure him with. Fixing on that point as a takes takes. Interesting. First rook in. How is he going to protect that? We have a protected past pawn now. Is that worth it? Eh. I'm not going to be able to stop him from doubling rooks on this side of the board. Check, check. The most threatening rook win. Is you, 
I am slightly in trouble. I feel it. There's nothing I can do. At least they have me a streaming now on my chest. Nice to see that over there. And now for something completely different. Eric, good morning, sir. A friend of mine was knocked out by Oscar on the, in the Kentucky Derby. Although my friend uh, Paul did cash. It was good for him. Who has the more active rooks here? Well, if I had one post, one person to vote for, I hope that it's me. Makes me wonder. Makes me wonder. Whoops. How active is he? Let's see. Makes me wonder. Makes me wonder. Three pieces attacking. How many pieces defending? Those who stand lost. And makes me wonder. I don't really want to trade any rooks. So therefore, we're going to have to do a little bit of cycling here. A little, little bit of milling about. I did have more active pieces, or at least that's what my opponent told me. I am overdue. I have to really make it to um, my Marshall IRL stream before I reach double the, the sub goal. Oh, I didn't get to check. I didn't get to check to see how I'm doing on the E4 front. And what other openings I need to uh, play in order to serious scare yesterday Eric as I looked to see my clips because I was trying to turn them into TikToks and YouTube shorts and as a result nothing was there 
absolutely nothing was there. There is a game. I know. And then I had to take my VPN off of South Korea. South Korea. I had to take my VPN off of South Korea. Can you imagine? VPN slow stuff down? Yeah, well, especially when you have multiple. Multiple VPNs. And now, do we go for our wedge? Might be time to go for the wedge now that the bond. Now that the. Kingslayer Sloan. Sire, you will suggest turning them off for streaming. Why couldn't you have played this move earlier? You know, not a big fan of that. Let's see. Does he really think that I'm going in there? I don't know. Oh, the camera. You know I love it. Wow, he didn't take on D4. Hello. Kind of forced to take with the knight, I think. Interesting. Super three nine and ninety. Said Arena. We are in the Master Chess Dojo, rapid and classical at the moment. Super three. It's a very foreign movie. Let's just do a little bit of probing to see what's going on here. That's good. I think that's the probing I wanted. Being that I'm up in exchange. There we go. Still probing. How am I getting around this? I want my knight. I want my knight on a certain square. And I do want to trade. So as soon as he's willing or able to trade some pieces, I'll be very happy here. 
How do we trade some more pieces? Well, two pieces for our Rook. Hopefully I don't get into too much trouble. Wow. I'm getting warmer. I'm getting warmer, folks. Knight to g4 is a little bit of a pain. Knight to e4, knight to g4, knight to e4, knight to g4. As long as the pawn on d5 isn't being attacked, I'll be okay with it. Yes. Oh, you're going to go for that one, are you? Bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes. That is very rude of him. All right, are we in? Whoa. The wise guy trying to win my queen. That's kind of a brutal bummer. And he's still winning a pizza out of the deal? Huh. Still winning a pizza out of the deal. Had to give back the exchange, very rude. Seems to me you don't want to talk about it, seems to me. Get rid of the bishops of opposite colors. And where are you headed? I don't want to weaken my king with f4. It just seems wrong, right? to a pin. I analyzed that one a little deeper before I even went to D4, by the way. Can he get more than he bargained for out of this deal? I don't think he saw that I analyzed that one. I'm happy that he didn't see that I analyzed that one. This was part of the plan with uh, King G2.
Otez Gambit. Otez Gambit. Oh, let's see where we stood on the one E4 front. So on the 1E4 front, I am 95 games shy of 2,000. So I need 91 more Knight C3 games, 35 more NF3 games. We'll check on black after this game. See if we've leveled out our Karo Khan dependency. No one allows the dragon anymore, honestly. E5? No, huh? Okay, I thought you were going to play E5. I was looking for the originality here. Good morning, Oli. How are you? Really, you're going in that direction. Where are you going in that direction? You know what? I think I have to ask. I do. Master Chesko Joey to Kinsir, thank you very much. I have to ask. You're welcome, Oli. Shock and World of Tanks. Threatening to win pawns? Threatening to win pawns and influence friends. Bishop takes, queen takes. No, huh? Fine. I have to make sure he doesn't take my pawn on e7 after queen takes d2, right? All the old school tricks. If you just realize what I just realized, then we'd be perfect for each other. Perfect other. Realize, another. Realize. Where is the knight going to go, though? Bishop takes, knight takes. Where is the knight going to go? Well, that's fascinating. Oh, uh, we'll keep piling up the pressure here. I have never seen such weak dark squares in my life. He is coordination. But at least the rook on um, Wow. So rook takes, queen takes. Rook takes, queen takes, rook f2, bishop d4. Doesn't work. Rook takes, queen takes, rook on b. 
to e1, then bishop d4 check. I can't make up my mind. So we'll give him a little something. Two pieces for a queen. I don't know. Am I sacking the exchange? This is looking a little bit like a mill. We haven't had a good mill in a while. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop? Let's see here. Moment of truth, folks. All right, you've got me there. I might actually have to defend. Parisa, you're doing very okay. Even after this game, Parisa will be performing at a much higher level than their rating. That's what happens in this uh, in these events, to be honest. I could allow a perpetual check with Queen F7 if you go for it. not going to quite cut it. You need a rep against the dragon. If you're going to play e4, you definitely need a rep against the dragon. Some form of rep. Still 150 rating points below my uh, peak rating, I think. 
still about 150 rating points below my peak rating. Long ways to go, folks. Long ways to go. He gave you things I didn't give to you. Oh, friend, why are you so shy? Ain't like you to hold back or hide from the light. I hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I hope to see my face and that you'd be right. Oh, I was going to check my black results. Hold the phone here. The mouse just told you it was black. Against the E4. I've got about 86. Sorry. 77 more. I was looking at a different number there. 77 more. Sicilians to go, and then I'm going to be answering E4 with E5, and I may give the Alakine a whirl, it looks like. The French defense is really lacking. So we're going to be on the C volume here in no time. G6, I need 20 of those. That's a sniper. That's a sniper... I would don't think I could ever play the modern defense proper, but I could play some Gurganitsis. I've actually played D5 and answered at E4 27 times? That's crazy. I can easily reach three times. As the opponent steps away from the dark squares to avoid that bishop to c3 check again. Find someone like you. It's nothing but the best for you. This could tax his playing ability. Oh, the pawn is going the other way. Oh my gosh. This is almost made. He can pick up the pawn. It'll be queen versus queen in a moment. Check, 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 and check. No, you can actually get away with this if you'd like. But I mean, obviously, it's a draw this way. You can go for the dramatic draw with rook check, check, takes with check, then check, and pick up the rook with check. I'm just going to pick up the rook with check on the dark squares, no matter what. There's no escaping the checks. Everything's protected. There's nothing to play for here. I do want to see that one, though. So here, bishop to c3 check. Rook takes his forest. Rook check. King to g... Sorry, queen check, king to g8. Queen takes check. Can the king move anywhere where we don't pick up the rook again? Sometimes it hurts instead. 
to where let's say he tries to move to a square then we check and we check and we pick up the rook and it's queen versus queen now it's getting sketchy because the rook is covering it's now getting sketchy and viper missed his chance to repeat the position wow I would push the pawn, but centralizing the queen probably ensures the win. That many more checks. Ariel Zamora missed his chance. Ouch! Ariel Zabora, why did you push it so hard? When you try to win a drawn position, this is sometimes what you get. What is Eric Keto's high score? In rapid. Let's check it out. Is it higher than mine? I am 22 something, mid 22s. Let's see, Rapid, Arikido. His highest rating was 2316, so he's got a ways to go as well, just like I do. His best rated victories from 2358 to 2424. And for me, I just have to know. 2276. And my best rated victories are not nearly as high as his. We better start getting with it. Should give me a warning that I'm playing a game. Wouldn't that be nice? But I'm currently in the middle of a game. Yeah. I was checking out our stats. Your best rated victories are higher than mine. And your peak rating is 40 points higher than mine. I always thought it was knight takes d4 and d6. That is the system that I haven't completely ironed out yet, even though it's still favorable for white. And here the choices are between E6, D6, and B6. I think there was a movement for rookie 8 at one point, but I didn't understand that move at all. goes with the traditional d6 plan he can force some concessions on my part now with the main line move we should do an accelerated dragon i did not realize that eric was a fan of the accelerated dragon i have quite a number of accelerated dragon books for an opening that i hardly ever play it's that i recommend it for my students that is the trick That is not the move. So since he's giving me all this leeway, what do I wish to do? He's just planning on rook c8, knight e5.
Oh no. Not the two pieces for the very valuable ruck. That is, so the knight went in the wrong direction. The main line runs, Eric, knight on F to D7, knight to C5, putting pressure on the E4 pawn after bishop takes C3, and I have to play bishop D2. <laughs> it's a sneaky knight, yes. It's a sneaky knight. I do have to make B3 look like a super cash move. Just so that people will think, did I overlook something? Erikido 23. Zeit. My idea was to get you to think that I didn't plan on knight takes e4. That was my idea. I'm so sorry, bud. We are going to put our pieces in the center. And we're going to go for those dark squares in due, due time. So now, with the knight hanging on C4, what does it do? Maybe last move c5 was a good move. Nah. Yeah? Nah. This relocation will be. This relocation. Is a relocation. I don't want to dance, got a hand in my head. One more time for I go. Our power is taking a hold on me. Grips on your waist, run away back way. Is a relocation. I want the queen on a3. Even when I'm away, OT, OT. There's never much love when we go OT. I pray we make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray. That's why I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more uh -oh. time for I go. Have power oh. So what does he have? He's not really going for that. He's not really going for that. One more time for I go. Have power Is he? up the silence you know you gotta stick by me as soon as you see the text reply me i don't want to spend time fighting we've got no time i need a one dance got a see in my head one more time for i go i have powers taking a hold on me i need a one hmm. dance got a see in my head one more time for i go I have powers taking a hold on me. I do want to find the commitment level of that bishop. I don't want to dance. Got a hand to see in my head. One more time for I go. I have powers taking a hold on me. I need a one dance. Got a hand to see in my head. What is the commitment level for that bishop? Got a 
Just a trade, folks. Don't, no reason to get excited. Just a trade. I could get frisky here. He has two pawns for the piece. I want it that way. Yeah, I was hoping to checkmate the queen. I nothing but a mistake. I want it that way. Am I your fire, your one Uh oh. Yes, I know it's too late, but I want it that way. Tell me why ain't nothing but a I don't have any rook pawns of a dark, of a white squared bishop, so let's get rid of that one. We're going for Zugzwang, ladies and gentlemen. Should we? Or should we not? Told me once, but I forgot. I want to keep a certain number of pawns on the board. This bishop is nearly trapped.
I did make it a problematic and interesting game, didn't I? Do I go that way? two pawns, right? Just waiting for movement, folks. Waiting for movement. Oops. Go this way. When you drunk and alone, who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? It ain't me. No, I'll be fine. I'll whisk me back home. I don't know. Back home. I don't know. No, I'll be fine. I'll whisk me back home. I don't know. Back home. It ain't me. Extra time. Thank you, sir. Extra time. He doesn't remember that I was looking at black. I thought I was looking at black. So against E4, I need uh, at least two more C. E5s. Let's do two more E5s and against D4. Knight F6 is taken over. And bullet. Oh no, I got a full point buy to go for coffee. A full point buy to go for coffee. Only four players remaining. We may not make it to the next one. Be back after coffee. Maybe I'll get my watch. Maybe my watch is fully charged downstairs as well. Let's blow up this uh, screen just for a moment so that we can watch both games. Dojo reminder, the YouTube reminder, the Dojo reminder. I'll be right back. With coffee. 
Four prints on. Good luck, everybody. All right, here we go. We're off. All these lines on my face getting clearer. And the past is gone. Games are still going. My life's in books written pages. 
take it off intermission. So I'm pseudo officially back. Next destination is London. Although I think flights to Sacramento could be cheaper. I should actually think about that. Weekend with the wife. Do some pool. That would be a good sub goal. So Bishop takes. Bishop takes B4. Bishop takes B4. And it doesn't quite work. Two pieces for a rook, though, after rook to D5. Rook to E5. Bishop C3 looks like it's forced. Then Queen takes F4. Rook F1. I'm not sure if that win of a pawn was so worthwhile, but Eric Kido might have him here. Queen E4. I'm only looking at options against Bishop d6, which is the discovery. There was a reason for queen e4. Rook takes, forced. And rook e5. Just to keep barnacling. Yes, no. It's a dreamer. Oh, we're going for the B-file. Got it. Bishop takes. Queen to E3 check. Wins a rook. Rook to E1 no longer an option. You dare come a little closer. Okay, this might work. Bishop takes. Bishop b6. Gain time on the rook, sir. Bishop b6. Gain time on the rook to not lose that pawn. Yeah, we need our bishop on d5, but I'm not sure that this is going to work out. Then in the way you So this is holding, it seems. I might have gone the other way to protect G4 against uh, with Rook F3. Rook G3, that is. We don't want to lose any more pawns. And you're trying to get to B5. That's where you're trying to get to. Oh, Eric. That's why we needed Bishop D3 to go Bishop B5. Bishop 
Let's restore our connection. Yeah, it must have been. It must have been Rook takes A4. So our opponent is performing well above his performance. Let's see what he has in mind with a, an E4 repertoire. I tend to prefer the bishop pair in the more complicated game. Something in the way you move it makes, makes me feel like I can't live without it. it takes, takes me all the way. way. Now I want you to stay. All right, we're going in for this line, but we have the pressure on uh, C4 right away. Right? Don't we have pressure on C4 or E4? Can we leave that bishop in the lurch? Mm-hmm. Knight E5, F4, bishop G4. Knight e5, knight c5, knight b6, let's go for the creatives, give the creatives a chance here. My knight is completely, completely misplaced. But, so is his bishop. We're only going to capture once. Then I think we're winning a pizza. We're not completely winning a pizza, but we are gaining a lot of time. Then, then for a reroute. You're just doing that to get even. Don't pick up the pieces, just leave it for now. They keep falling apart. Passionate from miles away. Passionate with the things you say. Passing up on my. What do we tag first? The E4 pawn, the D3 square, the B6 square. Going after the A2 pawn, maybe?
I will give up my dark square bishop for a reason. I don't have to give up my dark squared bishop. Even better. Promises, 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 2022. I feel like when you put a, a number on, on, a, on something like that, you sort of have to follow through. All right, we're up a whole rock at this point. And I will bring that point home, if I can. Look at the stars. Look how they shine, shine for you. And I want. I need one knight c3 for a nice even number. What? Yeah, they were all I didn't get a ninth game out of it. I didn't get an eighth game out of it either. Arc. And all the things you do. Let's see if we can get to 50 in the puzzle streak, though. If you are just watching, please subscribe to the YouTube. There are a number of uh, instructional shorts there. I'm going to add a few more. The next most important instructional short that I possibly could add as I was pondering this last night. When I start a series on Netflix, then I feel obligated to finish it, right? You start a book, you start a novel, you feel obligated to finish it. Human beings in general start projects and they are obligated to finish them. But most of the time you can see the deadline. Good morning, Lauren. So as a result, let's check out Nana Ayasalani's uh, profile here for a moment while we're at it. After all, this is what we were doing. Lorn JV33. Said, just woke up, it's song. At 1.30 a.m., he just woke up. So I was just getting into the fact that as I was watching one absolutely terrible series last night, 1899 on Netflix. Yeah, he went to Me too. I woke up around 2.30 in the morning and watched a couple, three episodes of uh, 1899. And I was thinking to myself, what am I doing? I've got like subscriptions to Disney Plus, HBO Max, Paramount Plus, Hulu, Netflix. And I'm really, really not getting anywhere because you, there's no way you can watch all of those networks at the same time. Uh, but there are programs on every single one of those that Long I or my family watched. I'm glad you say it's a great show because I was starting to doubt it. And I'm still doubting it around episode five or six. I think five is when the futuristic modern technology gets in and it sort of was very displacing. Don't spoil it for me. I'm only on episode six and change, I think. I think there are only a total of eight episodes. I might be starting episode seven. In any event, the dream sequences, the haunting past, the uh, the modern electronics in 1899 uh, encroaching without an explanation. I hope there's no second season. I hope it's a limited series. But I don't necessarily know how it's going to end, so I'm not sure how a second season will plan out since there are... Oh, wonderful.
So here's my story. If you truly want to get better at something, if you truly want to pursue a personal plan for self-improvement, personal achievement, let's just do it. Let's rephrase that. If you do wish to pursue a very serious course for self-improvement in an area, you're going to have to cancel many of your online streaming services. I don't need Disney Plus, I don't need HBO Max, Paramount Plus, Vudu, Hulu, Netflix, all of that. You know, I really need to concentrate on my personal study at home. I made so much progress toward mastery when there was not as much electronic distraction around. And you can too achieve that. In any event, I grew up in the era of Nana Ayosolani. Nana Ayosolani was a contender for the Women's World Championship. She was a very strong player. <laughs> well, if you're trying, if you're not trying to get better at chess, that's a pretty good idea. If you're trying to get better at chess, yes. I am scaling back a little bit on my Twitch subs. I support a lot of streamers. There are those like the one that we're about to raid that I do appreciate and I admire their efforts. So needless to say, That's a very good uh, budget. I appreciate being your prime. I do. Let's do a, a couple of puzzles on the puzzle streak. Where are we on the puzzle streak? We are at 45. Let's go to 50. It looks like this is a chess, a chess.com back rank mate. Lorn JV 33. Sai. Would you that if you have Aww. enough patience, you will eventually be gifted a soup? Lorn JV 33. Sai. The auto super priority says viewing time. Indeed, indeed. So if we push, Bishop takes. And we push again, how do they stop the pawn from queening? Because we're also threatening. We're also threatening queen to d1 mate at the end of it. This looks like it should be a mill. All of these moves look good. All of those moves look good. So this is a simple check and takes. And in order to win, we might need to play A4 to create a pass pawn and then just support it. Right? Now the moment of truth. In order to achieve a winning end game, we have to push A4. We trade, it'll probably be very, very close. Knight takes, takes, and queen up. Is there any threat to my king? Are you excited for the Super Bowl? I am excited for the Super Bowl. I asked for steak, a nice ribeye steak. Actually, I didn't specify what kind of a steak. That could be awkward. Well, knight to c3 check, the king cannot just move because a knight takes e2. Then we'll be up a piece. So on knight to c3 check, 
the knight has to take because if pawn takes pawn takes with check looks pretty fatal and we had knight to d4 at the end there Aww. that's a good reason I'm going for the East Coast team, even though I'm a Midwesterner, uh, born in Denver. This looks like a queen trap. And now for something completely different. Bishop to e4, though, stops the mate. And they can recapture. So it looks like we only have one move in this position to really threaten to threaten. Or is it, once again, a distraction from a queen trap? And the queen is still relatively trapped if I move the queen to a square that threatens me. Check. King D. Eight. <clears throat> Queen to b8, check. Queen to a8, check. Queen to c8. It looks just devastating. Or is it as simple as e6, e7, since our king is extremely safe? Any counterattack at all? I don't see a counterattack at all. All right, I said to myself, I said, self? This looks like checkmate in two. Check and mate. First one tempting enough to go after the queen is not quite good enough. Fifty-five. We're gonna stop at fifty-five. Check. Long yacht be to Sire. For the check. life of me, don't they understand why people play the Tarta Power Caro can the Beche line is so strong? Long yacht be to I think it's just all a draw. King Slayer Sloan. The Tartakower line is extremely, extremely. So if we play g5, king takes g5, bishop h6 should be made. Act your age, not your shoe size. Oh, no. You know that he's living. Kingslayer Sloan, how are you? Great to see you, man. We were just wrapping up on 55. I could go for a good 69, but sometimes you don't always get what you want, so that could be uh, an ambitious achievement. Kingslayer Thanks, Kingslayer Slow. I noticed that she's doing a bullet arena. She was doing a bullet arena. You do. No 
Namaste, GM Raven. GM Raven. Thanks for GM calling. Raven, I wonder Long if he is from Brazil. Where, although I wasn't sure how long you were in Brazil. Support bear to exchange black as attacking bishop, then it's easy to thread down into the better end game. All right. I'll look into it. King Slayer Snoon. Sai. Got any tips for Blitz Chess? For Blitz Chess, work on your end games. Just get to an end game. Work on your end games. Absolutely. I want to thank everybody for being here. Namaste. Thank you, Kingslayer Sloan. Although you're not showing up as a moderator. Why aren't you showing up in the stream as a moderator? Thanks. In any event, thank you everyone. I will talk to you later. Kingslayer Sloan.